Alrighty, welcome back everybody. As promised, we have some wonderful things to do, including box openings, some Ecoria, Layer of Behemoths. So let us go ahead and crack the seal on this. Let's we'll see what we can get out of it. Uh, we're going to do several more box openings, uh, some gaming, some arena. And we're going to have a lot of fun now that we're back in the swing of things. Uh oh, they're all shuffled. They're all mixed up. <gasps> box topper. I did not know the regular ones came with box toppers. I'm not putting these out in any particular order, just get them out of the box so we can make the box. Empty box. Out of the way. So just a little bit if I can. Not quite that much. Not quite that much. Oops. And I guess it looks good. So we got one, two, oh, that one looks a little bit short. Three, and the box stopper. We'll, we'll open the box stopper right now. All right, let's see. What we got? We got Baby Godzilla. He's going to go right into his sleeve. I don't know if these box toppers go for anything, but you know, what the hell, right? Alright, let's start with the first pack. We'll crack away. Ooh, these feel different than the packs from uh, the Fat Pack. That's for damn sure. Oops, okay. So we got our token card. Or token and or like whatever card. I'm going to put those off to the side. Uh, ooh, okay. So <laughs> they are packed a little bit different. So we're going to get our, our spoils right off the bat. So no wasting. Um, Blossoming Sands. So we got our land card. We have a foil card of one mind. And, oh, looky there. First pack, full art of Requel Phoenix as my rare. Ooh, I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, Uncommons, Boon. Fight is one. Flame Spill. I'm not going to go over the cards because people, you know the cards by now. Unlikely Aid. And then the rest of the commons. I may cover some of the, like, if, if they're a special art. So, yeah, let me double check, make sure there wasn't any. Because I have not seen all of the full art ones yet from Akoria, but the Everquill Phoenix, I'm going to tell you right now, that full art, alternate art, is sweet. i got to remember where the, where the sweet spot is here. But, I mean, if you look at that, just look at that. Damn, I wish it would focus. 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 Let me cover the screen. Maybe it'll focus that way. Uh, well, we're going to have to get a better camera. <laughs> All right, pack number one uh, was pretty good. I'll take I'll take that Everquill Phoenix and a foil. Pack number two. So we're going to do this the same way because I don't need to really see... Uh, we got a human soldier token. Whee! Tokens. We have a forest. What is our rare? Our rare is... Dun, 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 dun. Unless it's a foil. Hey, a regular Everquill Phoenix. Nice. Nice. All right. For our Uncommons Barrier Breach, Archipelagor. 
and football trader. Uh, anything interesting in the commons? Convolute, gust of wind. Not really. I wonder how often the uh, f like full art ones are going to be in regular packs. The I should say the collector stuff in the regular packs. Don't think you can get Godzilla in the regular packs. I'm not sure. I think Godzilla are primarily only collector's boosters. Catbird! Well, no, wait. We did get Godzilla, didn't we? Maybe that's the way you get them is the box toppers. We have Catbird token. We have a rugged Highlands as our basic, quote, quote, see to my air quotes, quote, quote, basic land. And our rare is a band card. Yay! Well, it's only band and um, EDH or commander for those new school people. Yeah, the, the Dranith Magistrate, because your opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands, which would nullify the commander, right? So, um, as far as uncommons go, Bastion of Remnants. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, we'll cover this one. Chittering Horror with the alternate art. So, I don't know. It looks kind of like a, a dragon with armor. Or a dragon lizard with armor and I don't know it's weird I mean it's a nightmare so it's supposed to look weird right in dire tactics all right and then we go to the commons let us briefly run through anticipate divine one of mine adaptive oh I see a alternate art Trying to keep them all straight here, folks. Migratory Great Horn. I like that art. I really like that art. I, I think it's focused enough uh, uh, right here that you guys can see it. Look at me just smashing through, breaking that wood. I need him on my Fortnite crew. He can be my Outlander. Ooh, there we go. Fortnite can can pay uh, wizards for getting skins. That would be awesome. You want to talk about double addictiveness for people. Holy cow, that would be insane. I know I would pay. Not going to lie. I would pay for some Planeswalker skins. Hell yeah, running around Fortnite as, as Jace. All right. Oh, what pack, pack number four already? Wow, we're flying through these guys. All right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, human soldier token. Our basic mountain land. And do 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 sneak a peek at ah triome and dot the triome. So the triomes are good because they're selling. They're 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 being used in decks. I mean. The only drawback is they come and tapped, and they have cycling if you don't need them. So, though I find it funny that a lot, almost all the cycling cards in this set are like one for cycling, but the rare ones are three, which is what old school cycling was. So I don't know, maybe they wanted to balance it out somehow. Uh, anyways, monstrous step for an uncommon reconnaissance mission. And Xena Flare, God, I hate this card. If you guys seen my last freaking uh, live arena video, oh, the guy, like, I had him, I had him, and he had no cards in hand, he had no creatures on deck, so he couldn't cycle anything, and he top decked a Zenith Flare and killed me. Yep, that's the way that card works. Breaking Claws, Wilt, Unlikely Snare. I don't see any alternate art stuff. I think like the Volcapi would probably be one. I think it's just the Mutate ones that have the alternate art. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'm sure I, I, that's the way it's been thus far. Forgive me as I imbibe my thirstiness. 
All right, pack number five. Like I said, these packs just have a different... I'm going to have to like go back and do another uh, fat pack opening because I swear to God, these packs feel a lot different. I'm going to keep the packs and and like see because I, I swear to God, they feel different. All right, we got no table required. No requerimento tabla. Uh, Tranquil Quove. Did I say Quove? Tranquil Quove. No, it's Tranquil Quo Cove. Cove. And Death's Oasis. Oh, wait, that's a foil. That's a foil. You see that? That's a foil rare. That's a foily, foily rare. What well, is our regular rare then? Mythos of Brokos. The Mythos of Brokos OCO. Oh, oh. Anyways. Uh, Indatha Crystal. Zagoth Mamba. And Lore Dracus. I think this is the creature that's featured in some of the artwork um, promoting. Ikoria that Vivian is with. I'm almost sure it is. And then we go to the commons. We have some Adventurous Impulse, Humble Naturalist, Light, Adaptive Shimmer. Is it Shimmer? Shimmer. Uh, Wingfold Terran, Blade Banish, Essence Scatter, Frenzy Director, and Night Commando. All right, on to the next, folks. So far, it hasn't been a bad, bad batch. I got a, my foil rare, which wasn't a great foil rare, but foil rare nonetheless. Uh, we got Baby Godzilla as the box topper. We got the full art Everquill Phoenix. Oh, companion. I have not seen this token. Like I said, you got to remember, folks, that I'm just now cracking a bunch of physical cards because I wasn't able to play until this past week so I didn't need physical cards now I need physical cards to play so I'm cracking my boxes and everything like that so as each game's beginning you can place one card oh so this is like a little companion play setting okay it's different I'll give it that we'll, we'll put it up here with the with the weird cards Bloodfell Caves is our common land and our rare is Oh no, we got a we got a foil first. We got a fertilid foil. Wee shiny 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 fertilid. Okay, our rare is Garuda. Garuda. Another companion that is completely busted and broken by the way, just so you know. Uh, all right. And then our uncommons, Keen Sight Mentor. Rogrin Crystal. Jubilant Sky Bond here. And then we move on to the comments, folks. Some more. There's the Volcapete that I was talking about that I figured would be. Ooh, I like that artwork, though. I really, really do like that artwork. Because it is a fox bird, so they basically gave a fox bird. Butterfly wings, it looks like. Well, it looks like he has two sets of wings. It looks like he has a, like a shimmer see-through pair of wings, and then he also has the uh, like angel wings. Hmm. Lurking did I, rumbling, and did wait. All right. Keep going. Pack number eight. I love the sound of that. Of of Oh, we got a beast token. Do 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 beastie 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 token. A mountain. And yet another triome. I'm not going to complain about getting triomes, folks. They're technically the new dual land, so we will take them. The Zagoth Triome. Migration path. Stormwild Caprador. Wonder where is that? I wonder if I can get the glare off of these by turning down my light a little bit. 
and Blitz of the Thunder. Like I said, guys, we're still experimenting with the camera, with lighting, all that good stuff. I think I need a, a better camera. But um, So we got Mysterious Egg, um, Sudden uh, Spinneret, Survivor's Bond, Aegis Turtle, Solid Footing, Crustacean, uh, or Crustacean, uh, Dranith Healer, another big one in the cycling deck. Uh, Day Squad and Pyrosops and Night Squad Commando again. All right, I'm going. I'm going to adjust the lighting a little bit. Let's see if we can get the lighting to uh, cooperate with. With not getting glare. All right, we're going to try that a little bit. Nothing like standing out. I mean, the 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 Everquill Phoenix was nice. I'm not gonna lie, but other than that, nothing really standing out. We got a human soldier, guys, as our token. We have dismal backwater as our basic land, and Yadaro, wandering monster, the big great tur earth turtle. It's Yertle the turtle! It's a dinosaur turtle. I guess they had turtles back in dinosaur days. I don't know. Did they? Did they have Yidrin? I really wish it would focus. I mean, the Coria comes through fine, but like, I don't know. I don't know, folks. I gotta work on the focusing. Work on the focusing. But we got Yadaro. We got Charge of the Forever Beast. We got Alert Heed Bonder. And Frill Skill Mentor. And then we move on to like our commons of Whisper Squad, Humble Natras, Raking Claws, Clemmer Bell, Coordinated Charge, Sleeper Dart, Fire Prophecy, Blitz Leech, Dream Tail Heron, and Heightened Reflexes. So, you know what I want to do real quick? I want to see. So we have, I'm going to put these guys in a separate pile. Do I have room somewhere? Maybe right here. There we go. I'm going to put all the uh, alternate art in a separate pile. And see how many there are in a box. Did we only have, like, I think we had one of each, right? We had one rare, one uncommon, one common. Might have had two common. There's the Volcapete. Nope, there's the Migratory Great Horn. We did have two common. Alright, that looks like it. So right now we have four and I'll move those up as soon as we clear out this first row of boosters. Actually, here, we'll just put that over here on top of the companion. That way we can see them. All right, we got four. And we're going on to pack number nine here. Ooh, I like that human soldier token. With the lava falls in the background, that's kind of cool. And then we got a Tranquil Quo Cove. I almost said Quove again. Tranquil Cove. Oh, and there we go. We were bound to get them, right? The Ultimatums. Um, I haven't seen the Inspired Ultimatum. I have seen decks built around Eerie Ultimatum, though. All right. And then we got Sanctuary Lockdown. Ketria Crystal. And a Sprite Dragon. This guy, I want to work on a deck with him. He has some um, potential. Let's let's put it that way. All right, we got Flycatcher, Graphid, Spontaneous, uh, Flight, Furlid, Thieving Otter, Mained, Several, Hampering Snare, Memory Leak, Essence Symbio, my boy, uh, Cathartic Reunion, and a Boot Nipper. Need a Boot Nipper? Nothing bothers the little Boot Nipper. 
sometimes you wonder what goes through some of these guys' minds when they're coming up with names like like why did they name it boot nipper where did that what what inspired the name boot nipper all right another human soldier token so lots of variations on human soldier token a swamp for our basic land and our rare is not a rare it is a foil Lord Dracus I and I'm still I still really really don't know if I like how the mutate ability is in the darker shade and then you have the actual uh, creature text in the in the lighter shade I'm not sure if I like that yet so our rare is Lutri oh yeah by the way Banned, uh, at least banned in um, uh, Commander once again, and I think that was it. I can't remember if he's banned in anything else or not, but he is Broko Oko. Um, each non-land card in your starting deck has a different name. Yeah, I think it's just Commander. Uh, Flash, when Lutri the Spell Chaser enters the battlefield, if you cast it, copy target instant or sorcery spell you control, you may choose new targets for the copy. So that's why. Flash him in, in and out, and you got like a non-stop combo. Unbreakable Bond for our Uncommon Sanctuary Smasher. And Auspicious Starix. I am going to be interested to see some of these mutation alternate arts. So, Wilt, Spell Eater, Wolverine, Save, Sabretooth, Wing, Fold, Taron, uh, Blister Spit, Dark Bargain, Ferocious, Patagia, and a Serrated Scorpion, which are Broco Oko with Loris right now, too. I like the term Broco Oko because Oko was so busted and they just let it linger. Let it linger. Ooh, okay, another one of the, uh, see, this is the softer token. The, the one in the, the um, fat packs or bu bundles, uh, much thicker. So, um, I guess they'll go with my token guys over here. Planes? And an extinction event. Choose odd or even. Exile each creature with converted mana cost of the chosen value. Zero is considered even. You got to remember that for tokens, guys. Horn Bash Mentor. Escape Protocol. And the Necro Panther. Okay, let's take a look at this little artwork right here. Yeah, I did get rid of the glare for the most part, so it's not as bad. It still needs to focus though. Like, do I have to put it like right up in there? Give it a moment to focus? No, it's not focusing. Oh, I need some type of autofocus on this camera. Alright, anyway, so that's another one of our alternate art mutate guys. And then we got uh, Moss Cloak. Suffocating Honey Man with Hell of a Glider, Facet Reader, Frost Veil Ambush. Ooh, did we get we got two? We got a Cavern Whisperer too, which we covered earlier in um, the bundle. But yeah, awesome. Because believe it or not, guys, I think those alternate art ones will go up in value. Here, I want to replace that so they're more prominent. Um, more so than the regular ones. Because they technically are the collector's ones. Pack 12. Third of the way through. Again, nothing spectacular. We got like several triumphs, which is good. We got the Everquill. Two Everquills, technically. And we got a dinosaur token. The dinosaur. The ever-present calm dinosaur companion token. An island. And our rare is... Song of Creation, which I really, really, I have the sleeves for these on Arena, and I love the artwork. The artwork is phenomenal, but the card itself is, I mean, I'm waiting for the combo to come out that just breaks the shit out of it, because it has to be there. Um, 
You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Whenever you cast a spell, draw two cards, and at the beginning of your end step, discard your hand. So you got to get to the point where you can, you can just keep drawing, play everything, and uh, then you don't have to worry about discard. Or stuff that you discard, hey, comes into play. Who knows, right? All right, our uncommons, Rooting Moloch, Clash of Titans, and Channeled Force. And then we move on to the most broken card ever, Evolving Wild. So make sure you make sure you buy thousands upon thousands of these as they are sure to go up in value. And then we also have Ram Through, full, full, Fully Grown. Uh, Gloom Panglia, Phase Dolphin, Rumbling Bushmeat, Essence, and Lava. Lava, Lava. All right, on to the second row. Ah! Sometimes I get them, sometimes I don't, guys. There we go. Like I said, these ones do seem a lot easier, though, compared to the... Uh, Fat or the bundle ones. Another human soldier. So, like I said, many variations on the human soldier token. I like that they did do that. Um, give you some, I don't know, some not a thousand of the same token. A forest for our basic land. Oh my. Oh my. I think we just hit gold, guys. A foil. Full art. I'm not even going to worry about what's next. Luca. Look at that. Look at that. That's right, baby. That's what pays the bills. Yeah, Drake, you can wait. I'm putting Luca into a sleeve. Like I did with Baby Godzilla. Though I think uh, Luca is, is much more expensive than Baby Godzilla. Um, and we got... Like I said, Vadric, who is a mythic, <laughs> but I was more excited about Luca, who's also a mythic. So I got a mythic rare, a mythic full art rare, a full art Everquill. So this this box is turning out pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Um, Vadric is our rare, or mythic, I should say. Um, Ivy Elemental, Void Beckoner. Which isn't, correct me if I'm wrong, isn't the Void Beckoner the, the Corona? Or the Godzilla Corona? I'm not sure. I can't remember. And then Cunning Night Bonder, which I love, by the way. He is amazing in my Simic deck. Um, and Commons. We'll flip her back around. Uh, Adventurous Impulse, Spring Jaw Trap, Blister Spit, Phase Dolphin, Helica Glider, Chris Station, Essence Scatter, Ferocious Tigerilla, and Corpse. Corpsey, Corpsey, Corpsey. All right. So now, now we're getting a little bit of more value out of the out of out of this box. I mean, I think the estimated value right now is down, but um, I expect it to rebound, especially once you lose, once uh, we go through rotation. Uh, no table required. Blossoming sands, and then our rare is. Ooh, I see another uh, um, full art though. I kind of peeked at it. Kogla, aka King Kong. King Kong ain't got shit on me. I know that's what Kogla is saying. I do see, and now. Now they bring in King Kong, right? And and but they don't call it King Kong. They make a reference by you know the artwork, the name, the creature type. I'm fine with that. I like that. I like throwing in flavor from other stuff. When you go straight out and say Godzilla, uh, throws me off a little bit because it doesn't fit in with the theme of magic. I guess technically. Our plane of existence could be one of the planes the planeswalkers visit, and so could the plane where Godzilla actually lives. But I don't know. I guess I guess you could throw in the lore like that. 
All right, anyways, on to the uncommons. Bastion, there's the one that I saw. Majestic Oricorn. So that's the one that uh, mutates and gives you four life. I like the, I, I really do appreciate the artwork um, for the alternate arts on this much more than Theros. And we'll be doing some Theros box openings too because I just kind of set that aside, didn't open it. Because um, I couldn't do anything with it. Um, I guess I could, when I, I didn't, I did throw some stuff into my commander decks, but I just picked up singles that I needed for uh, some commander decks and uh, some some decks I play with friends. But Majestic Oracorn. So that's another one. Um, and Back for More is our other uncommon. Our last uncommon. Then we move to our commons of Shredded Sails. Sudden Spinnerets. Mysterious Aid again. Checkpoint Officer. Frostlink. Starling. Helica. Man, we've seen a lot of Helica Gliders and a lot of Cathartic Reunions. Serrated Scorpion Fire Prophecy. I mean, we're going to, right? They're commons, but still, I mean, for only barely going through a third of the box, we've seen a full playset already, I think, or close to it. All right, on to the next pack. Oh, another companion uh, placer, placeholder. Companion placeholder, that's what I'll call him. Thornwood Falls and our basic land is a f or our rare <laughs> bleh, is fiend artesian nice very nice he is so good he is just so good <laughs> for each creature card in your graveyard so good so good i can't tell you my my golgari decks love like i said back in the day black green was my thing like i did the power blue way i did you know control blue way i did Tons of different decks, but I, my fallback was always black green before there was Golgari. We're talking Spirit Monger, Pernicious Deed, guys. All right, uh, Call of the Death Dweller, Archipelago. There's the Lord Dracus. Oh, that one's awesome. I love the artwork on that, guys. Look at that. That's just awesome. Okay. Enough basking in, in the lore, Dracus. Uh, and then uh, the commons. Mosscoat, Flycatcher, Raking, Gust of Wind, Anticipate, Solid Footing, Gloom, Pataglia, Lava Serpent, Mutual Destruction, and another Essence Symbiote. On to the next pack, guys. So, yeah. So, please leave comments below. Um, I know I need to work on the focusing. Um, what do you think of the layout? Do you think I need to glitz it up any? Do I need like flashing lights or something? Because I got them. I got them for my for my up live streaming. Um, so uh, if you guys haven't seen that, click the link below uh, for up live. Download it. It's a social app. Uh, you can check me out there as Wildman X, uh, along with a bunch of my crazy and wild friends of Madhouse. That's our agency. Um, and also, while you're at it, you can go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave the comments below, like I said. Um, doesn't cost you a thing for any of that. Helps me out. Uh, the algorithms are there. Human Soldier, guys, for our token. I wonder how many different tokens there are. So let's see. We got, we got a bunch of different types of Human Soldiers. We got Dinosaurs. We got Beast Catbird. That's all I've seen so far. Uh, there's bound to be an emblem, right? I think. I don't know. Um, mountain for our rare, or our land. <laughs> all right. And then we got Whirlwind of Thought for our rare. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, draw a card. Because control needs that. They need more card draw ability, don't they? Not. Uh, Avian Oddity for our first uncommon. Clash of the Titans once again. And another Sprite Dragon. Then we move on to our commons. Which is Survivor's Bond, Spring Jaw Trap, Adventurous Impulse, Thieving Otter, Snare Tactician, Hampering Snare, Forbidden Friendship, Forbidden friendship. Is he going to do the nasty with the dragon? Is he going to do a little sheep loving? 
uh, Durable Coilug, and Aptagia Tiger, and a Ferocious Tigerilla. That was probably inappropriate, wasn't? I mean, it's his own business. If he's if if, if that's that if that's his sexual preference, then let it be so. By the way, this is not for children under the age of 18, in case you are wondering, because one, I swear, um, I try to keep it to a minimum, but I still do, um, and two, I make a lot of uh, inappropriate references, folks, so, ooh, there's a pretty token, Kraken token, look at that Kraken, I like blue, blue's my favorite color, so for all of you that are wondering, that's why I like it, and it's a full art, like, it's awesome. All right, our land is a swift water cliffs with our rare being, oh, was it a Titanothrex? I thought that's an uncommon. Death's Oasis. So we got uh, the foil version, and now we have a regular version. Or wait, was that, was that just two regular versions? No, we got the foil version too. So I got, I got, the foil rare, okay, and mythic rare. Good box, good box, people. Uh, Titanic Rex, Wingspan Mentor, and the Regal Leosaur. Nice, very nice. Collins, Spellcaster Wolverine, Wilt, Suffocating. A Fumes, Maned, Serval, Facet Reader, Sleeper Dart, Boot Nipper, Deadweight, Rumbling Rock Slide, and Piceratops. Awesome sauce, guys. Awesome sauce. Alright, next pack. Oh, we're just cracking this one. There was no saving that pack. Alright. Notable Recramento. A swamp for our basic land. And Lava Brink Venture. So I, I don't know if I like the whole even odds mechanic that is built in. It isn't actually considered a mechanic, it's just kind of built in. And. It, you know, I guess it rests to be seen. I think they threw it in because of the companion that the even odds thing with the companion. Uh, Amanasis for our first uncommon. Unbreakable Bond. And Dire Tactics. Excellent removal spell, by the way, guys, in case you guys are wondering. Because it removes anything, and if you don't control a human, you lose life equal to that creature's toughness, so no big loss. Life is always part of an asset. Uh, Spontaneous Flight, Almighty Brushwag, Spell Eater, Wolverine, and Pro Imposing Vantasaur. See, I, they keep doing so many dinosaurs in the set. I don't know like if it was supposed to come out after the next... Because Ikoria was supposed to be released much later on, right? It, it, it was kind of thrown uh, because Throne of Eldraine was supposed to be two sets, but they crammed it into one set and then threw some of the leftovers into here along with, I want to say, Ikoria was supposed to be after the next Ixalan, like Return to Ixalan. I can almost guarantee it. Convolute, Gust of Wind, Garrison Cat, Forbidden Friendship again. No, no. That's my no, no box. Blood Curdle and Cloud Piercer. Yeah, look up No No Box on TikTok, guys. <laughs> oh. All right, we're almost through uh, the second second of two thirds. Dinosaur token. We got the forest, and under the forest we have. A foil skull prophet. So this is the other guy that I mentioned in the video about um, getting cards in your graveyard using things like Garuda and, um, or even just for the simple mechanic from Theros to uh, bring stuff back from Escape. But a foil skull prophet. Ooh, another full art rare. Uh, actually, a full art mythic. I'm sorry. That is Nathroy, Apex of Death. 
Oh my god. Guys, I wish the focus was so much better on my camera because this is just freaking amazing freaking like the rib cage is just showing oh my god oh that's just awesome I'm sorry I love the artwork on this one guys I'm gonna to have to get a better camera and we're going to showcase some of these alternate arts at some point maybe make a video out of it um wow that was just awesome all right uh, escape protocol Wait, why did I put... Oh, yeah, Dire Tactics is an uncommon. I thought I was losing it, guys. Uh, Valiant Rescuer. In Chittering Harvester. There are three uncommons. Move on to the commons. Thwart the enemy. Spontaneous Flight. Blazing Volley. Anticipate Divine Arrow. Of One Mind. Did Wait. Pacifism. Got to have the pacifism in a set, right? And Dranith Stinger, which is also quite common in that cycling deck. It depends. I've seen the Lurus cycling deck. Um, I've also seen uh, the regular cycling deck. I don't, I don't think the Lurus one is all that good because of the changes with Lurus, but people still seem to play it. I mean, most of the good, I'm not going to lie, most of the good uh, cycling things are less than, uh, or two or less casting cost. All right, we have another human soldier, guys, as our token. Bam! Underneath the human soldier is a swift water cliffs. No way! And then our rare is hey, hey, speak of the devil, and he shall appear, cause he is the devil. Mama says he's the devil. Mama says the devil made him do it. Yeah, Mr. Broco Loris. Um, Boon of the Wish Giver, Migration Path, and a Zenith Flare. So, yeah, they, this pack right here was made to go cycling, man. Between Lurus and that, let's see if we got some Drano Stingers and stuff in here. Bristling Boar, Tentative Connection, Almighty Brushwag, Adaptive Shimmer Mirror, Snare Tactician, Startling Development, Frost Lynx, Mutual. Ooh, we got another migratory great horn uh, alternate art. And, man, they, they're talking about this forbidden friendship. I'm telling you, man. it's it's They're trying to push that forbidden friendship. They're telling you that that kind of love is okay, people. You love who you love. And don't let anybody else tell you any different. All right. Once again, we got Human Soldier as our token. We have a, a Mountain. <gasps> Is that a second foil rare? And it's a Lutri? Guys, look at that. This is an insane box. Second foil rare. And it's Lutri. Wow. Okay, that kind of takes away from the uh, awesomeness of Slither Wisp, which is another Amaze Balls uh, creature. For the casting cost, you get a 3 2 with Flash that whenever you cast another spell that has Flash, you draw a card in, and uh, each opponent loses one life. So, I mean, power level creep, right, guys? Power level creep. All right, uh, uncommons. If I just one, which I love in my mono white deck, by the way, guys. Amazing card. Auspicious Sterix, which we still haven't seen the alternate art for. And uh, Primal Empathy, which I once again need to build uh, a Simic with that. Ooh, my, would that go in my Simic Flash? That might go in my Simic Flash. I might have to update my Simic Flash with that. All right, we got Whisper Squad, Humble Naturalist, Light of Hope, Adaptive Shimmer, Wingfold Terran, Lurking Did I, Volcapete, Prickly Mama Set, which I don't think we've seen the. Uh, oh wait, he doesn't have uh, mutate in Corpse Churn. But man, 
Wow, a foil mythic, a foil rare, two foil rares, uh, alternate art mythic. Oh man, this this box is killing it. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you. All right, another uh, token card. I guess you could say token card, not Tolkien as in J R R, but token. Uh, Rugged Highlands is our rare, or our, bleh, is our land card. And a Savoy Triome. Does that give me like four of the five Triomes? Let's see. We got. Where are my Triomes? Zagoth, Endatha. I thought we had three Triomes. Maybe we only had two. I thought we had three. Zagoth and Datha. Okay, I was mistaken, so that's my third trial. From the Savoy, the Endatha Crystal. The Rooting Moloch. And Flame Spill for our last uh, uncommon. Among the commons, hey, look, right off the bat. Broken Evolving Wilds, guys. Fully grown, unexpected fangs, blade banish, gust of wind, coordinated charge, keep safe, essence scatter, frenzied raptor, and night squad commando. All right, looks like it's pack number twenty-three, guys. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, pack number twenty-three. Not including my box topper. I didn't know there was a box topper in each box, so that's kind of cute. And we have our second Catchbird token. The all-powerful, almighty island as our basic land. And our rare is not a rare. It is a Dranith Healer foil. Wait, wait, wait. I screwed up somewhere. Right there. Okay. I had my basic lands and my non-basic lands mixed up. But a foil Dranith healer. So that'll go nicely. But our rare then is... Mythos of Vadrock. So I'm not... I'm, I'm still not... I'm still iffy on the myth, Mythos, guys. I really am. Um, Ketria Crystal. Necropanther. Uh... Frill Scale Mentor as our uncommons. Our commons are Greater Sandworm, Fertilid, Light of Hope, Phase Dolphin, Plummet, Volcapete, Gopher Blood, Dark Bargain, and Farfinder. Awesome sauce, guys. Awesome sauce. Oh, our last of the middle row packs, or at least I think they were middle row. They were kind of a little bit scattered in the box, but so two thirds of the way through the box after this pack. We're not doing too bad actually. We're doing quite well. I'm I'm pleased to say to say the least. I'm pleased. Human soldier guys. Boom, boom, boom. Followed by a plains for our basic land. Our rare is Karuga the Macro Sage. Another companion. So again I'm not I'm not fond, I mean, you guys have seen my videos. I'm definitely not fond of companions. I'm not fond of cycling being as cheap as it is. And mutation is somewhat broken. Um, the set was not tested. Should not have been released as it was. Oops. I just made a miss, but you guys didn't see it. So I'm good with that. Um, anyways, going on with Karuga. We got Monstrous Step. We got Stormwind Capridor and Grim Dancer. I love Grim Dancer. A 3-3 three, three for 3 that you get two effects you get to choose when he comes into play. That's just freaking amazing, guys. That is power creep to the next level. Alright. And going on to our commons, we have Unlikely Aid, Wilt, Ram Through, uh, Perimeter Sergeant, Convolute, Garrison Cat, Capture Sphere, Prickly Marmoset, Blitz Leech, and Migratory Greathorn. 
So once again, guys, uh, since we finished off the second row, I'm going to make a quick reminder of everybody, please subscribe, uh, like the video, and comment below, especially, like, I know the video quality, I'm working on it, I'm going to, as soon as I get done with this, order a new camera that I'm going to look at the specs first instead of just being like, oh, okay, that looks good and it's cheap. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we'll do that, and... Uh, Along with that, we will also go ahead and um, I got a few other things. I got a backlight I got coming in. I do have this one that, like, but this one will give off way too much glare. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. Um, I need more of a backlight. Uh, and, you know, uh, as well as that, because uh, I'm, it's like my own little studio here. Um, and I'm also working on UpLive. So if you guys don't know what UpLive is, it's a social app. Um, it's not a dating app by any means, so don't think that it is. UpLive is more about entertainment. Uh, there's lots of variety shows on there. Um, yes, you do have your jiggly girls, if you want to call them that. But you also have people that, like myself, just like to go on there, chill, chat about current events you know shoot the shit with other people from around the world um, I'm practicing actually my Spanish uh, on there that I haven't used uh, literally in decades uh, I used to be quite fluent but uh, you when you don't use it you definitely lose it especially with a foreign language um, so yeah click the link below for that along with uh, my Facebook I, I think I have my TCG player in there so I also sell all, all these cards that you see will probably other than my set that I need a four for playing like um, will be sold on eBay or I mean not on eBay on TCG player so uh, check out the link below if you click it and go there it'll take you directly to my shop uh, and you can see what I have I have everything from alpha beta cards up through current sets uh, available um, as soon as 2021 comes out this week I will have some of those available too now that I've started buying as they come out and actually cracking now so like you will see a Corey added um, Theros Beyond Death added um, along with 2021 there is plenty of Throne on there because we were still playing when Throne was out um, along with secret layer drops and stuff like that so singles and stuff like that I also have sealed product on there uh, so yep check the link below on TCG player as well as my Facebook Instagram and um, is that it I think that's everything I do have a patreon that I've set up but I really haven't worked with it much so um, we'll see how that goes um, I do plan on also opening some old stuff that I that I I found hidden uh, among my uh, golden treasures, like a, a loose. Uh, well, I shouldn't say loose. It's a it's not in a case. Box of Battle for Zendikar. Um, I did pick up a bunch of the gift packs that have um, Amonkhet, uh, Oath of the Gatewatch, and uh, Ixalan in them. So you can still get the. Uh, inventions or not the inventions the spells I think out of those so that will be awesome on to the third stack pack number 25 or yeah 25 human soldier guys we're gonna move you over so you're more centered there we go human soldier a stamp for our basic land and our rare is ooh it's not a rare, it's a foil island, but that's a dollar card. I'll buy that for a dollar. But our rare is Crystalline Giant. I'm still unsure about this guy. We will see. I need more playtesting with him. Uh, Uncommons, Reconnaissance Mission, Barrier Breach, and uh, Channeled Force. All right, for our commons, we have got Honey Mammoth. Tentative Connection, Frostvale Ambush, Blazing Volley, which, by the way, guys, that card does more than you can imagine. Watch me play my Menace deck sometime. Uh, Divine Arrow. Ooh, there's the Dreamtail Heron. Alternate Art. Boop, boop, boop. We'll turn it around. Not as... I expect it to be more bright. Much more blue. It's, it's much more dark than what I expected. 
All right, and then the last three, do, 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 Lurking, Dranith Stinger, and Blood Turtle. All right, next pack. So, like, not counting foils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven uh, of the alternate so far with a mythic and a rare. I'm not, I'm not saying that. That's not too bad. I'm not, I'm not going to complain about that at all. Especially since I got the, the foil Luca. Uh, foil full art. And that wasn't even my box topper. Alrighty. No. Table Recordamento. Our Rugged Highland. And Mythos of Snapdex is our rare. Again, Mythos guys, I'm not I'm, I'm not sure on. I haven't I haven't found my use for them yet. Uh Ominous Seas, Splendor Mare, and Sonorius Howbounder. Another another excellent card in my uh, menace deck if you haven't seen that on Arena. Watch it, learn it, love it. Uh, common Sudden Spinnerets thwart the enemy, mained several starting development, Grand Stinger, or Healer, um, Hampering Snare, Pacifism, Go for Blood, Mutual Destruction, and Excavation Mole. On to the next pack. Do you guys think we can pull anything else that's going to like, just be like, wow? I mean, I think I've already pulled the wow out. I don't think there's any more WoW left in this deck, or in this box, but we shall see. All right, another token card. Um, a Plains, and our rare is the Oozolith. The Oozolith. Man, oh man, I don't know. I think I think it's 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 a concept that like. Needs to get busted somehow. Swallow whole. And no, ladies, I'm not talking about you. That is actually the card name. Uh, Duskfang Mentor. There's the pork parrot. I haven't seen that one yet either. Ooh, that's a fat guy. How the frick does he fly? He doesn't. Okay, never mind. He doesn't fly. I thought because he was a parrot. He's just a fat parrot. Look at that artwork. He looks like a, I mean, he is a 3-4, so he's supposed to be big, right? Because, like, a 1-1 one, one is a human, so think of that times 3 is going to be this huge-ass porcupine parrot. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, tentative connection. And, oh, that was that was the last of our uncommons. Okay, so we're on to a commons. I missed it. Uh, um... Too much fun with the pork affair, the fat boy. Suffocating fumes, divine arrow, convolute, and poison vantasaur, cathartic reunion, cavern whisperer, day squad marshal, and cloud piercer. Yeah, I see I, my, my stack of commons is starting to get up there. Might have to do the next one, uh, sort it by color. All right, we got another cat bird. That makes our third cat bird token. We have a scoured barrens for our land, and the rare is it's not a rare. It's another basic land, but it's all pretty and shiny, foily. Swift water cliffs. All right, our rare is ooh, he's a good guy. He's, he's definitely worthwhile. So General Kudro of Dranath. Most definitely an excellent card. Excellent card choice. Um, I will take that as a rare any day. I will see him go up in value most assuredly. And I have a deck that I have yet to build with him. I might do that today on Arena. We might do the General Dranath deck. Um, as, for, as far as Uncommons. Reptilian Reflection. Polybog Symbiote. And Trumpeting Gnar. Alright, and into the commons. We got Thwart the Enemy, Shredded Sails, Keep Safe, Blazing Volley Against, Snare Tactician, Anticipate Corpse Churn, 
Essence Symbiote and Heightened Reflexes. All right, we're getting there. Only two, four, six, seven, eight packs, including this one left. So down to seven packs after this one, guys. Almost there. All right, we have another human soldier as our token. Our land is a forest. And our rare is... Doo -doo -doo. You gotta get a soundboard on here so I can click the boo boo boo. Titan's Nest. So, you know, I'm still unsure about Titan's Nest. Um, Begin of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library and put that card into your graveyard. Exile a card from your graveyard, add colorless mana, spend this mana only to cast a colored spell without X and its mana cost. Um, it's a graveyard mechanic uh, card. Mm, mm. And it has an additional ability of, hey, uh, if I throw lands in there, I can get rid of them and give myself mana, I guess. All right, lead the stampede for our first of uncommons. Neutralize. Oops. And Heartless Act, which, by the way, guys, Heartless Act, anything that you can target a black, destroy a black, a black card that destroys a black card is amazing, okay? It just is. It's because they aren't, they're, they're few and far between. Uh, all right, we got Adventurous Impulse, Springjaw Trap, Greater Sandworm, Glimmer Bell, Garrison Cat, Plummet, Chris Station, Blood Turtle, Bushmeat Poacher. That sounds so wrong, guys. Who came up with the name Bushmeat? Come on, really? You know what they were thinking, and that and they were watching some like Carmen Electra stuff and said, "Oh, I want to be her Bushmeat Poacher." Drain a stinger. That's 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 what that's about, guys. I'm I'm not lying. They were watching Carmen Electra in her many many uh, forms of. Stupendous acting, which, by the way, if you haven't seen some of my movie reviews, you need to see some because Carmen Electra is by far the worst actress ever. And I do mean ever. Um, on to the next pack. Human Soldier Token. All right. Blossoming Sands. And I do like the artwork on Blossoming Sands. I usually don't comment on, like, um, basic land. and it's, I know it's non-basic. Don't correct me. But um, the artwork, on, I think, on Blossom and Sands is really nice. I think, actually, the, the like the Scoured Barons and stuff is good, too. All right, so our rare is not a rare. It is a foil. It is Dark Bargain Foil. And our rare is... Do, do, do. Oh, my! Money, money, money! Like I said, this is a great box. Money, money, money! Savoy Triome, full art, uh, actually full alternative art. Oh, guys. Like, guys, really? Like, really, guys? Oh, that's just, I don't know what pile to put in it. Did I put it in my rare? Did I put it in my foils? If that would have been a foil. My heart would have stopped right there. All right, easy prey for our uncom first uncommon, and um, the... Mo momentum Rumbler uh, wanted to jump off and rumble the cards around a bit. Um, wow, that's our first Pride Wild bond Bonder. Um, Proud Wild Bonder, and he is really good. He's really good, guys. Which is probably why I've only seen one of them in my uncommons. Alright. Um, Greater Sandworm, Raking Claws, Savoy Sabertooth, Aegis Turtle, Glimmer Bell, and Posing Vansor, the Bushmeat Poacher. We talked about him. Day Squad, uh, Marshall, and Frenzied Raptor. All right. Ugh, this one's a little bit harder. I, I'm sorry, guys. This is the way I've always opened packs. One thing, because I, I actually have sold, believe it or not, and I don't know if people are being unscrupulous, but like if you can keep a pack in pretty good condition, you can sell it for like a buck or two. I sold actually some revised packs like that. Um, I think I sold the, the empty foil. Well, they weren't foils back then. 
So that's one thing. But sold the empty pack for over twenty dollars. So yeah, that's I'm a big hoarder, guys, and I figure everything has value. Like I will save all these tokens. I will have them neatly organized in a cardboard box, and at some point, someone may want to buy some. I don't know. All right, so our token cards. Well, and then we got our island as our land. What is our rare? Our rare is Shark Typhoon. See, again, inference of reference, right? But not naming the card by what it's inferred to. So, obviously, Shark Typhoon is Sharknado, right? We all get that. We all understand it. We all understand Kogla is King Kong. But they didn't name it. They didn't say outright, here is Godzilla. So... I don't know. That's just my take on it. I prefer a little bit of um, more putting the thought there rather than saying, all right, here it is. Uh, Will of the All Hunter. General's Enforcer. And Pouncing Shore Shark. I want to see the uh, alternate art of that one, too. I haven't seen that one yet. I mean, I got a whole case to open, so we will, I mean, I'm not going to throw them all on here at once, guys, but uh, we will see it as, as we go along. Uh, Fertilid, Evolving Wilds, man, broken, broken, humble little natural, naturalist. So when it says humble naturalist, is that a guy that just goes nude and is like really humble about how he's hung? Is that what that is? It's, I mean, they, the guy has clothes on, obviously, they can't. You know, but what are they inferring with the name humble naturalist, huh? Is he like, you know, is he like, you know, horse, horse hung here, you know? And he's just like, hey guys. Uh, Blister Spit Gremlin of one mind. I can't believe some of the shit I come up with, guys. Uh, Dranit Healer, Memory Leak, Excavation Mall, Heightened Reflexes, and Night Squad Commando. All right, we are down to five. Five packs. Five packs left. Oh, there's my other mail. I hear him. I hear him outside. He's probably going to knock on my door to let me know I have a package. They don't wait for me to get there anymore because of all the COVID and, you know, stay your distance type thing. So he'll knock and I will know my package is here. Whoops. Ooh, almost slipped. Nice and slippery cards. No... Table Recuimento. I don't I gotta look that up. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Jungle Hollow as our basic land. <gasps> and our rare is yet another companion. Kihira the Orf Orphan Guard. I never really looked at her last name. I just know it was Kihira. Okay. Again, companion. Mm, I don't see that one played too much, though. And for its casting cost, it's a 3-2 for 3, so right off the bat, it's good, right? Vigilance, bonus. And whether or not you play it as a companion, each other creature you control, that's a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, or beast, gets plus 1, plus 1, and has vigilance. So, come on. Uh, Zagoth Crystal, that's our first uncommon. Uh, Savoy Thundermare as our second. And Insatiable Hemophage with the alternate art. Awesome. We covered that in the bundle pack, so I'm not going, but excellent art. All right. And as for the commons, we move on to Fully Grown, Shredded Sails, Survivor's Bond, Aegis Turtle, Savoy Sabertooth, Frost Lynx, Adaptive Shimmer Meal, Pacifism. Oh, there's a Cloud Piercer. I do like Cloud Piercer art too. I wish again my focus was better. We will work on it, but the Cloud Piercer art, how his head actually gets up above into the actual text, I think that's awesome. I think that kind of emphasizes that he's huge, that he has reach. Um, yeah, I like the art. I like the art because he's just a straight out dinosaur, right? In Dark Bargain. Four packs left, guys. Four packs left. Pack number 33 right here. Ooh! A new token that we haven't seen. A cat token. Just plain out cat. Not a bird cat. Not anything. Just a plain old cat. 
All right, Tranquil Cove. I almost did it again. I want I want someone to say that real quick three times. Tranquil Cove, Tranquil Cove, Tranquil Cove. Okay, I could never mind. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, what is our rare? Our rare is. Dun, dun, it's not a rare, but <laughs> it is a rare, and it is another rare foil of a triome, guys. This box is insane. Holy cow. I'm just, oh, okay. Anyways, what is our real rare? The Quartzwood Crasher. This guy is a beast. I hate this guy. I played against him the other day, and it was just like, okay, I give up. No point. Wow. Okay. But, uh, foil, a foil, another foil rare. And it's a trium. I'm in awe, guys. Zagoth Mamba as our uncommon. Valiant Rescuer as our second uncommon. And Boneyard Lurker as our third uncommon. Another mutate card. On to the commons. We have Unlikely Aid, Ram Through, Solid Footing, Facet Reader, Thieving Otter, Boot Nipper, Lava Serpent, Farfinder, and a Blitz Leech. Awesome sauce, guys. Awesome sauce. All right, down to my last three packs. I haven't heard him knock at my door. I'm hoping he didn't leave it on the porch. I don't want anybody stealing it. Oh, no, it sounds like he's coming right now. He had to make a second trip. Human Soldier. Awesome sauce, guys. Awesome sauce. All right. I'm just still in awe of the foil triome. Uh, and it's a good triome to have, too, because lots of people want it. Uh, swamp is our basic land. Our rare is Sea Dasher Octopus, which uh, is actually really, really useful. One, it has flash, right? Two, it mutates. And whenever this creature deals damage to... Or combat damage to a player, draw a card. Can't lose. Can't lose. Alright, Exuberant Wolf Bear. Mystic Subdai. Or Mystic Subduel. Alright, I gotta grab that, guys. I'll be right back. Thanks, sir. Or ma'am. <laughs> Like I said, guys, a lot of things coming in because uh, I finally um, am back into the routine of things. So I picked up some stuff. They're all coming, and so I try to get them as they come in. Otherwise, sometimes they won't leave them, and I have to go to the post office. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so Skull Prophet as our last uncommon. Our commons include Almighty Brushwag, Whisper Squad, uh, Moss Coat Gorak, Light of Hope, Sleeper Dart, Frost Veil Ambush, Checkpoint Officer, Fire Prophecy, Memory Leak, and Migratory Greyhorn. So yeah, one of the other things I want to start experimenting with is the actual editing. So like, if that happened, I could just go ahead and um, cut it out, edit it out, and it'd be like nothing happened. So i got to start experimenting with the editing a little, a little bit more. Um... I know both OBS and YouTube will allow me to do that. I just haven't really messed with them a lot. So that's something else coming in the future. Editing, all the bookmarks and stuff. So, All right, next to last pack, we have a human soldier token. We have a planes. And the rare is... <gasps> Didn't want to come off. Oh, because it... It's not a rare, it's another foil. Duskfang Mentor. But the rare is the Hunted Nightmare. So the Hunted Nightmare is really, really good. Uh, currently, because a lot of people are playing, uh, especially against control decks, because guess what? They don't have a creature to throw anything on, so you're good. Check out my Menace deck once again on Arena. Um, there is a video on the making of it and the cards in it, and then you can see it in play, too. All right, our uncommons. Weaponize the monsters. 
Uh, ooh, I haven't seen the um, alternate of that one either, the Glowstone Recluse. Parcel Beast. I think that's the first time I've seen that alternate art. Let me take a quick look at it. It's kind of cool. I don't know. It's it's okay cool. It's not it's not like you know awesome cool. It's okay cool. And then we move on to our commons of spontaneous flight, honey mammoth, wingfold Terran, um, gloom pangalon, blade banish, prickly marmoset, durable coil bug, dreamtail heron, and frenzied raptor. All right, guys. So we're on the last pack. And once again, if you could, please like the video, uh, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel because I really, really need it. I want to get this going. I want to get everything now that we're back in full swing, um, at least in my area, start getting things going again and uh, hopefully uh, make this channel what I want it to be. But with that, the last pack, follow me on all of my various media outlets below, up live. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, whatever. All right, we got a beast token. You know, honestly, I think that's the first one card crag that we've had as far as a non-basic land. I'm going to check real quick, but I'm almost sure. My memory is pretty good. Yeah, that's the first one card crag we've had as a non-basic land. And the rare is... Colossification. So we went out with a dud. Uh, but the box overall was freaking amazing, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, Uncommon Savoy, Savoy, Savoy Crystal. And the cards wanted to go everywhere. Um, Flourishing Fox, which I think that... Is that the first one we've seen of that? That might be too. Um, and the Huntmaster Liger, which also I haven't seen the mutate of that one. Or the alternate art of that one. Um, common wise, I'm sure we will. I got plenty to open. Unexpected Fangs, Flyfetcher, Gerfrelod, Mysterious Egg, Of One Mind, Capture Sphere, Coordinated Charge, Cavern Whisper, Pategia Tiger, Piceratops, and Serrated Scorpion. All right, guys. So once again, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. Follow me on all my various media outlets, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and um, uh, the biggest one, UpLive, which is where you can catch me broadcasting, playing video games, which you also can do on this channel, but um, you see it in a different aspect as I'm talking with my friends who also play a lot of different video games with me on there. Um, thank you all for joining. I want to... Uh, tell you that was just a fantastic box and I'm glad you could join me for the opening of it. Uh, you all take care of yourselves and one another.